So I just pushed Ranger off in the kayak and it looks like the police are showing up. Welcome back to the channel guys. Hey everyone, welcome back to Walker Farm Fam. Thanks for stopping by. If you can tell, we are not in farm clothes today, are we Ransom? We are going on a special adventure and this video is sponsored by Ugreen, so a big thanks to them for sponsoring our video and helping us along our way today. So Ransom, what do we have loaded up so far? Uh, it looks like chairs. Chairs. Camo packet. Yep. Kayaks, paddles. Ka kayaks, paddles. And then life jackets. Life jackets, some lawn chairs. We have all the stuff loaded up to go to the lake and do a little bit of kayak fishing. You excited about that? Oh yeah. We haven't got to do any kayak fishing yet, but Ransom has been asking to. So is Ranger. Cassie is even going to come along. Mazzy is going to go stop at her Nana's house because she does not want to um, endure the heat. So it is super hot today and we are going to be cooling off, trying to stay cool with a little help from Ugreen. To help us out so today, we're going to be using the Ugreen Power Roam 1200 watt portable power station. This thing should power our cooler, our fans, and maybe even cook us some dinner this evening and any lights if we stay late. So let's get everything else loaded up. We have to hit the road and uh, get there when Cassie does. So she just left to bring Mazzy to her Nana's house. So we'll have to meet Cassie there on time. So the first thing we're going to use our U-Green for is for the little uh, portable refrigerator we have. So I turned it on and turning on the AC. You can hear it click and you know it's on. And there we go. It's pulling at about 70 watts. So I charged this uh, last night and it went to a full charge in about 50 minutes. So right out of the package, it needed to be charged and it didn't take long at all to get fully charged. So this is going to be keeping cool in the back of our trailer while we're going down the road, thanks to our portable power station. So I think I have everything loaded up that I need, but Cassie called and reminded me of one important thing you never want to forget when you're out and about, and that's toilet paper. There won't be a bathroom down where we're at, so I'm going to load this toilet paper up, and I was going to check in on the fridge before we leave. I'd say it's been plugged in for about five minutes, and we are already up to 42 degrees. So that should be uh, plenty cold to keep our drinks cool and uh, chairs, fishing poles, tackle, all the things. So let's head to the lake. So we made it to the lake and we just pulled up here and what did you see ranger as soon as we got here a snake. we saw a snake in the water in the water of all places so i want to go down here you guys watch your step well i can carry the kayaks down here our kayaks only weigh about 50 pounds so i could carry them down here if i needed to but there was a snake right here slithering away from the water so, uh, don't know if that's the best place. Looks kind of like a. Uh, oh, I see some little minnows. It's kind of like a not so great place to swim. Do you guys want to stay here or go back to the boat ramp? Boat ramp. This looks like a snake area. Looks like a snake area. So I think we're gonna go back to the boat ramp area and set up there because, uh, like they said, looks a little bit snaky. And I'm pretty sure that snake, I was going to come down here and see if we could see him. Probably went down there in that brush somewhere or maybe went on down the bank. But all right, we know where we're not stopping at since the boys voted. 
Vote no? No. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Thumbs down. Thumbs down. The boys got their fishing poles. Last time we went fishing, I some, one of them stole my bait. Yep, they'll do that. And Cassie is just pulling up. So we're going to get everything unloaded, uh, get the kayaks out. Let's see how our uh, everything rode back here. Whenever you, whenever you uh, take the trailer, you never know how things are going to shift. But I do like using this enclosed trailer ranger we pull that open a little bit thank you we like using this because we can just take everything we need all right looks like it's setting at 32 degrees and everything man is just fine my fishing pole has a sinker on it a little, a, a little baby one i don't know if you can see it well it's like a little marble or something Supper. Cassie got some uh, goodies we're going to make supper with in a minute. If you, you want, you can put them in the fridge. It's on. Set my chair down. And a light in case it gets dark on us. See the hook? So Cassie's helping Ranger with his fishing pole a little bit. Well, while she does that, I'm going to try to set up the air conditioner I've made. So it basically consists of this fan setting about right there above this ice. And then we're going to plug it in to the U-Green. And let's see what Cassie thinks. What do you think, Ransom? Oh, that's cold. Why don't you take that over there and clean it off a little? Does that feel good? I got an air conditioning too. Look, all you do is get some ice and put it in your shirt. We'll cool Cassie off one way or the other. Ah, don't throw ice at me. Is that cold, Ranger? Yeah. All right, who's ready to go down? Oh, that, that's still cold. Who's ready to go down and uh, put a kayak in the water? You? You looking at me? Then? I think I might fish, I don't know. Well, that's the thing, is fishing from the kayaks. Well, I only got one good arm. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Cassie's kind of got a bum arm still. Ransom's little kayak is just the right size for him. I think it has about a 100 pound weight limit. And I'm gonna go ahead and get Ranger kayak out. He figured out he's just got to put his fishing pole straight in front of him, and I'll give him a little send off. Ready? So he's just going to stay in this little area right here. He's got on a life jacket, and he wants to see if he can catch a fish or two. So I just pushed Ranger off in the kayak, and it looks like the police are showing up. The GRDA police. So after carrying the kayaks down, I am soaking wet with sweat. I thought you jumped in. I am going to sit in front of this fan for about five or ten minutes, but the GRDA police stopped. Um, they patrol this area and more or less just 
check on people. I don't know if they can ask for fishing licenses or not. They probably can. Yeah, I think they can do whatever they want if you're in the lake. But I have a confession, Cassie. What's that? I do not use a fishing license. Oh, yeah? Yeah. I am a proud member of the Cherokee Nation, and with my tribal membership card, since I'm on the um, reservation of the Cherokee Nation, it works as a fishing license. And mine's on my Oklahoma Wildlife app on my phone. The and kids, when do they need a license? 16? When they're 16. Yeah. But they're tribal, so... They don't... As long as they're on the reservation, they can always use their um, tribal membership card as a license. I stopped and got us some sparkling water. Uh, this one's called Summer Berry. We'd never had it. It's all right. I was just pointing out the fact that we aren't just sitting here chugging beers. Yeah. <laughs> so many times when we drink this canned water, people are like, I, I took one to school. One of my students was like, oh, look at that rabbit. Oh, wow. One of my students was like, Coach, what are you drinking? <laughs> Sparkling water. <laughs> nope. Right now I'm thankful for this fan and the ice. Um, we also have the U-Green charging my cell phone. So, uh, are you getting hung? My phone's going to have to charge pretty soon. You getting hungry yet? Well, I have a confession to make. Uh -oh. I stopped and got, when I got stuff, I got fruit. It's in there if you want some. Oh, okay. I can always eat, but I ate some fruit. Well, I'm going to cool off for a little bit longer. Maybe do some fishing, and then I'm going to come up here and cook. Okay. So while I'm going to start getting some uh, supper ready, Cassie's going to go try her hand at fishing. Uh, I think she's got to get a life jacket, though, for the kayak first. So she'll bring you along to see what she catches, and I'll catch back up with you in a minute and see what supper looks like. All right, so I've gone about this far from the shore. I'm gonna cast out, see what I can do. But I've got an oar and a fishing pole. I can use this arm as long as I'm just smart. So I can move it, do all the things. Uh, the problem is just if there's weight added to it, that's when it still hurts. But let's see if I can catch anything. So the lake is extremely calm today. Cast it out a few times with no luck and uh, came out a little further, but now I'm all spun around. So I'm gonna have to get back around and I wanna fish right over there. So that's my goal. All right, I am dripping in sweat. Most of this is sweat, not water. So Ransom's over here fishing, Ranger's swimming over there, life jackets are on. I'm headed back to get a snack and something to drink. So tonight we're going to be making some chicken quesadillas and to do that we're going to be using the U-Green and currently it's at 85%. You can see it's pulling 67 watts. That's our uh, refrigerator down there. We've been running the fan, the fridge, but just a quick overview. It has a light right here, different kinds of brightness, and then it has the SOS and um, a little flasher. Uh, you can turn it off and on. It has a couple USB-C's, a couple USB-A ports, and then it has this 12 volt outlet right here. Um, I always call that the car charger outlet. So let's show you that. And then on this side is our AC outlets, and it um, looks like it has six of those. So plenty of places to plug in power. So right here are the different charging options. It has solar and a regular charge with fast charging, power zip technology. It charges the power realm faster than ever. It goes from zero to 80% battery life in 50 minutes with an AC. So while we make the quesadillas, I thought this would be a good time to show you guys the app. So the app currently shows it's at 81% and it has a total output of one watt. I went ahead and plugged it in and you can see it is now a total output of 850 watts. So the Easy App Control features a child lock and you can monitor charging data, silent mode, complete control in your hand. So all we're going to do is take a couple tortillas out. And this makes it super easy to make dinner whenever you don't want to build a fire. Usually when you go out in a camping scenario like this, you'd kind of like to build a fire. But today it's so hot anyway, a fire is just not what I'm wanting. So I'm going to make these. I'll tell you a little bit more about U-Green while I do. 
With push battery capacity with U-Turbo, you can power 90% of appliances with the 1,024 watt hour, 1,200 watt Power Roam Power Essential devices. Use DIY and heavy duty tools and portable kitchen appliances when you're away from an outlet or you're off grid like us today. You'll be able to get up to 3,000 plus cycles to 80% capacity. The 10 year battery life has a premium life PO4 EV battery in collaboration with BYD gives the power roam six times more compared to traditional lithium ion batteries. Coupled with the five year warranty, users will have consistent performance throughout the lifetime use of the power station. And if you are gonna use solar to charge, it has fast solar charging. You can get fully charged in four hours. Stick around to the end of the video and we'll get it recharged. All right, who's hungry? Me. Oh. Not me. Not you. Ransom's like a fish. He could just be in the water all day. We didn't catch any I fish. I didn't catch anything but sweat. Oh yeah? A little bit hot today, isn't it? Dripping. All right, well, the That's sun's the starting to go down, but I don't think it's gonna do a whole lot of good. It's just hot, any way you look at it. All right, who wants to try one? Me. There you go, Ranger. It is a, uh, what kind of chicken was this? Fajita chicken? Mm, is it good? Mm -hmm. All right, let's give it a try. Mm. I'm not hungry. Well, I am interested in this. You want to just eat chicken? It's a little bit spicy. <coughs> I know you don't like spicy things. Hey! <laughs> yeah, you love spicy things. You'll like it. All right, the queen wants a quesadilla. Can you turn that down a notch? What, are you cold? She said turn like it down. I might be in a windstorm. All right, so she has cold water from the ice chest. Thank you. The quesadilla. And I'm the, still thirsty. And the fan going on her. Mm. Ransom's still thirsty, he said. How is it? I should have got some sour cream, but it's really good. We'll check on the second quesadilla. I think this is going to be enough, just two of them. See where we're at on our power? I got me a fan. We're still at 70% power. That's with running in the fridge for a couple of hours, making quesadillas, running um, the fan. And so far, I'm impressed. The U-Green is really powerful and holding up. All right, Ranger found another fan. He said he needs one for himself. I think you might have to go to that bottom plug-in. Oh, does that one work? Oh, it he might. had? That is on one. He had room. Oh, yeah. This one will let's get the napkins out of the way. Better? Mm -hmm. So you can still go out in the heat and have fun. Just takes a power station and a little bit of uh, ingenuity. All right, let me get this one out. I'm gonna steal the whole thing of chicken. Ransom said he's gonna steal the whole thing of chicken. It's so good. So we just finished up supper and I enjoyed the quesadillas. Cassie, what did you think? Very good. So life with a power bank versus life without a power bank. Didn't have to slave over a fire. No fire. Um, we had the uh, fridge going we had fans going. We had, um, I charged my phone, Cassie charged her phone. So there's a lot of different uses for them. They can be in your house. They can be when your incubator goes out. Um, your mom has a CPAP machine. Yep. And it comes in really handy for that in an emergency. Um, pretty much endless uses for these things. So if you guys are interested in Ugreen, check out the link down in our description. I know they're gonna be having a special price for you guys. So go check it out. If you're in the market, this might be the perfect one. So I'm gonna actually go down and try to um, see if I can do some fishing now. Uh, it's starting to get later in the day. The sun's starting to set. Let me spin you guys around and show you some of the sunset. Still... We're using chicken. We what are you using this time? Chicken? chicken? Yeah. So Ranger wants to do some non-conventional bait and thinks that chicken might be the answer to uh, his success. So good luck, Ranger. Cast this one out. I'll you, video you. You want to video me? All right, well, let me cast it out for you. Yep. Where do you want it at? Uh, just really far. Okay, well, I already see one problem, bud. We got it wrapped around the end of our pole a little bit, okay? Uh -oh. As far as you can. All right, you and I'll reel it in. Show my cast? Yep. Okay, let's see if we can get this out there for ransom as far as I can, he says. All right, you gonna reel that in? Yep. Okay. Let's reel in a big one, okay? 
a monster. So this is the best part, getting to fish with the boys, being out here on the lake, um, enjoying the quiet. I think we're the only ones here today, boys, which might be a bad sign, it might be a good sign. It's bending a little. It's bending a little, better real fast. Don't wanna get hung up. You don't have to reel super fast, but just don't stop reeling, okay? Oh, did y'all see that one jump over there? Yeah, I definitely have something. You definitely have something caught? All right, Ransom says there's something on there. Better keep reeling. Oh, nope. Let me see the end again. I think you, uh, somehow Ransom, you're spinning it around this. Let me straighten you up. Ranger, you need some All right, bait. Alright, so I made it out here on the water. And I'm gonna come out here and do a little bit of fishing. See if I can snag something. I've never fished out of a kayak before in my life. I've told the boys that I've been wanting to do this. Um, we never had kayaks until uh, maybe a month ago. So this has really been on my to-do list is get down here and try the kayak fishing. Uh, these aren't exactly fishing kayaks. They don't have a spot for the thing, but that's okay. You can still bring your rod and reel out here and you can still fish. And if we like um, fishing out of kayaks, maybe we'll get some actual fishing kayaks. But the boys are having fun over there swimming. Did you ever catch anything, boys? Yeah. Almost. Almost? I'm gonna try again in a second. Okay. So right over here on this point, uh, right over here, I kept seeing shad jump. So I came over here and I've been fishing for about five minutes. I got a real hard strike just a minute ago. I thought I had one on that was gonna come in. Uh, the boys right over there, so if you can see him. But I am the only one on this lake right now and it is awesome. So hopefully I'll catch something. You know what they say though? Uh, bad day fishing is better than a good day at work but i don't know when you're stay at farm dad a day at work is pretty good so i all my days are good so i want to see if i can catch a fish and it'll make it even better well a little update sun's going down and as the sun's setting this is usually the best time but still haven't got anything in the boat yet fingers crossed um i will but if i don't get anything I'm putting the camera down, I'm gonna do some hard fishing, and I'll see you guys back at the truck. All right, boys, I'm ready to cook the fish. Where are they at? Oh, it's about an hour. An hour? Well, based on that sun going down, I think we got about 10 or 15 minutes, okay? I see you. This is a good time. I see you guys fishing hard though, so I'm proud of you. You're doing a good job, are they minnows? little bluegill all right well that's our fishing trip so uh i think we're going to get loaded up and we're going to head back to the house but we had fun we enjoyed ourselves and tomorrow i'll get the trailer cleaned out i'm going to recharge um the u green power bank and get it charged back up for the next adventure so we'll see you tomorrow morning we had an awesome time last night at the lake but now it's probably my least favorite part and that is unloading but everything has to be put back up and in the right place because when we get ready to go again, we're going to need it. So I'm going to unload put this down. So one of the first things I'm going to do is make sure that we're ready to go for our next adventure. Uh, we're going to recharge the Ugreen portable power station. This thing really came in handy uh, on this trip, and I'm sure we'll be using it on the next trip. So I didn't use them, I brought them along in the trailer. Hey Ransom. Hey. Now he's gonna recharge our power station. You wanna carry one of these out to the sun for me? Sure. Can you carry it? Oh, good job. Ransom's tough and strong. Uh, so I brought them along, but I ended up not needing them because the power station never got low enough. Um, so we're just gonna charge them up today. So that was the first time we got to go kayak fishing. So I am setting these up. See, so just set it up like this. Hang on, buddy. Let me do one at a time. They have little legs on the back that pop right out. So face them towards the sun. Just so like that. This is one of the legs, right? 
right here? Yeah, that's one of the legs, but I have to fold it out first. So you see it goes that way? Yeah. So we're going to fold it out just like this. You want to grab a leg? So we got the two 200 watt solar panels. So each one of these solar panel sets are 200 watts each. Uh, we got them set up and we are recharging the U-Green. Uh, there's also other ways to charge. So if you want to um, recharge with your car while you're going down the road, uh, there's a charger for that. You can recharge in the house super fast. In 50 minutes, you can go up um, to a charge. So, so I checked out the app and I'm currently getting 174 watts. So as the sun continues to rise throughout the day, we'll be charged up. Um, it has an estimate the recharge time is 2.3 hours. So that's what I really like about the app is you can see um, things like how many watts are going in, how many watts are going out, how much time you have left. So, so while that recharges, I'm going to finish unloading the trailer. You can see I already got most of it out, but I think there's one more thing left in there. Is there anything else? What about me? Oh, we can't forget Ransom. So I'll unload Ransom too. Are you ready to go back and go kayaking again? Today we are. Today we are? No way. That is, it's too hot. So we're probably going to wait until it cools down. In just a couple of weeks, it should be in the 80s or 70s instead of the 90s. And it'll be a little more enjoyable, I think, whenever it cools down. So we want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to spend time with Ranger, Ransom, uh, Cassie and I. Uh, Mazzy, maybe we'll talk her into going next time. You think we can? Oh, yeah. You think so? All right. Also, don't forget, um, down in the description... There is a link to Ugreen for the power station. We thank you for watching. Have a great day and God bless.